do que mim. Okay, it took about a month, but I uh, finally finished the kayak. Uh, this originally was all orange like that, but I repainted it and uh, refurbished it and did several things to it to make it ready for uh, the water. So uh, what I did was actually took plants, you can see, I took ferns and uh, holly leaves, um, some uh, pine needles or yeah pine needle branches and uh, spray two different foliage to get the kind of effect that I wanted to make it kind of camo but uh, you know to get the uh, kind of cool effect that I wanted so all that was done about three different colors uh, spraying actually through plants and uh, then I did several other modifications let me go through what I did. Uh, start here. <clears throat> um, the handle here was real smooth, so I sprayed it on both sides, the front and the back uh, of the boat. It has these handles, and uh, I sprayed it with um, Flex Seal, a black Flex Seal, and it gives it this texture, which makes it much easier to grip. Uh, so I also, the old cord was all kind of rotten out, so I put paracord on here. Now it's going to be easy to lift up. Uh, I also sprayed the uh, <coughs> Flex Seal on the hatch cover. Now inside here is where you store your gear when you go out. And uh, these had thin eighth inch bungee cords and I bought new quarter inch thicker. Uh, and this can, you put stuff under here, you can hold stuff and it'll hold your hats down. So I replaced all, all that. I took all the clips out painted them, resealed them when I put them in with the silicon se uh, sealer. <clears throat> and uh, the seat uh, cleaned out and uh, I bought a little uh, extra pad for the bottom and uh, that'll just give me a little bit more su uh, support, happened to match the canoe. Uh, and uh, I also painted the, uh, the oar. The the uh, oars were black, and uh, I painted it to match the boat. The ends of it came out pretty well. Um, and uh, this has a holder, bungee cord holder, to hold this in, and unloose that. And then I've got my oar. Uh, I put in a bunch of these, I'm not sure what they're called, they're like eye clips. Um, and that's to uh, hook bungee cords on it across, like a, like here, I've got a thin one. And uh, you can attach my headphones and, uh, you know, whatever you want to it. Uh, but I've got about eight of these put in. I actually had to uh, drill holes and rivet every one of these on. These have been riveted 
uh, and I, I've sealed it with um, silicone sealer so no water can get in here. But this is going to be great to be able to strap things, hook up things. Uh, like here, I've got this case that I can put my wallet, phone, and whatever in it and uh, hang that over. So, uh, yeah, and this is a, a water. Uh, this clips on that holds your water bottle. Sorry, this holds a water bottle, clips on. Uh, you can put a regular water bottle in there or for my bottle. Uh, so that's going to be nice, easy to grab and drink. And uh, more bungee, I replaced with this bungee and repainted these clips uh, in the handle again. So, yeah, um, and the, the other thing was, was this. Uh, I. I put my camera holder in there. This is for my um, GoPro. And uh, I just pop this open. I just pop this open and uh, uh, that clips in like that. And now I can um, take videos uh, and without getting the boat in it. And I can move it backwards or core backwards. But anyway, so basically that's it. And I'll try, uh, I'll go out tomorrow, I'll try it out and see how well it goes.